Hey friends, Joe here at Reverb.com, checking out from Digitech the Strum, Strummable Drums pedal. This thing is very intuitive, you can do a lot with it, programming kick and snare patterns, tons of different variations, hi-hat ride variations, tom variations, you can do verse, chorus, and bridge, and set up your song sections, uh, swiftly going from one to the other. It also has USB, so you can plug it in, save all these presets. There's mixer line outs here, so you can go straight into your DAW, your mixer, uh, and program your drums that way. So these separate groupings here around this knob are 4-4 four, four, or 3-4 and straight or swung. So those are, those are your four options there and you choose either 4-4 four, four or 3-4 four, and then either straight or swung there. Then you have this other grouping here which is three different settings of simple to busy. So you have the simplest setting here and then your busiest being the third setting. And then these ones over here are your different types of kit. Electronic pop, brush, percussion for example. And then you have an alternative button down here, which allows more different kinds of kits. With this knob over here, you have hi-hats and rides, it's labeled, but then you have the alternative button for uh, tom fills and, and uh, tom grooves as well. It's also very intuitive uh, in the way that basically you can audition your guitar and set up having a kick and a snare in your strum pattern and it picks up that pattern. There's certainly tons of tweakability in this pedal, um, so I'm just gonna kind of take you through a few of the functions and kind of show you a little bit about what this thing can do. So first thing we'll do is program uh, our drums via our guitar strings. Very cool aspect of this pedal. So what we do is we hold this guitar audition button to calibrate. After you've held the guitar audition button, it lights up, and then you hold the bypass button down, and then the learn uh, light will be blinking fast and now it's going to be picking up and recording your guitar. We have a few different sections here. 4-4, four, four, straight, simple. You have three, three selectors there from simple to busy. Uh, and then this is our hi-hat variation. Right now I'm on the seventh variation. If I take it down to one, kind of straight eighths. Okay, lots of different options here. And then we have different drum kits to choose from as well. Right now it's on electronic pop drum kit. Now if you just leave that there as is, you can hit the, the bypass button um, at any point during a measure, and at the end of that measure, or rather at the beginning of the next measure, it's gonna go to another section, and it's gonna add a little fill in for you. One of the strong points about this pedal, I feel, is this function, that you don't have to nail the button right on the downbeat to go to the next section. You can hit it at any point during a measure, and then it'll fill and take you there. One, two, three, four. That, that's only the intuition of the pedal. I did not program this, uh, this section or this pattern. It takes it there uh, just thinking that you're gonna wanna go to a ride pattern, wanna go to a chorus or a different section. It's pretty cool. Three, four, and back to verse, okay? Now, if you want to set up your own pattern, you hit that button, and now we're in the chorus section. Or let's do this, a little more intense hi-hat pattern, okay? And then that's gonna be saved as the chorus now. Two, three, four. Back to our original pattern. And two, three, four. That gives you an idea of setting up different sections and going from one section to another. Now I'm just gonna kinda blow through a lot of these different kit sounds and a lot of these different variations and see what we've got going on.
Yeah, one interesting uh, quality is that because you can route the, the strummable drums to a mixer uh, and route your guitar to an amp, you can have any, any number of effects and they're not going to affect the drums as well. So plugged in Eventide H9 just to kind of go through some different effects for the guitar and not for the drums and see how it sounds. drum pedal from Digitech, Strummable Drums. Check it out, you can find it on Reword.com. Thanks for watching.